How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm heading to Portsmouth as they face Sheffield Wednesday, the League One fixture tonight. Right now I'm in London, I've got to get a train down to Portsmouth. It's a five hour journey for me in total as I live near Norwich. It's going to be a hell of a trek but hopefully we won't see a nil-nil today and hopefully we won't jinx Portsmouth as I'll be in their home end. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Please subscribe to my channel. We're so close to 28,000 subscribers so make sure you hit that red subscribe button. I've got my Mackies because I'm fat and I need my dinner. But yet again boys and girls, I think we've got a sponsor for this video. Sorry to interrupt the vlog, but today we've got a massive sponsor, which I know you guys will love. Yes, that's right. Today's video is kindly sponsored by the guys over at Footballogy. Footballogy is a ground hopping app which allows you to log every single game you attend on the app at any of the more than 60,000 stadiums in the database. You can also get all kinds of stats, your most seen club, your most visited stadiums, and of course, how many countries you've visited. It will all be logged on the Footballogy app. It is free to download, and for a small annual fee, you can unlock a few premium features, such as matches nearby where wherever you are or plan to be at a certain time, the perfect planning tool. Footballogy covers more than 1,000 tournaments worldwide with fixtures, all of them added at the correct grounds. You can also collect all kinds of badges for milestones and special games like international tournaments, completed leagues and derbies. I have downloaded the Footballogy app for years now and it's so useful for all the grounds I visit, all the new ones I visit every single week, I can log it onto the app. You can also connect with friends and be notified whenever they are a match with you. My favourite feature is going onto the maps and seeing all the different stadiums I've been to in my life logged onto the app. The different grounds scattered around England, Scotland, Rome, Amsterdam, Dortmund, even Orlando I've been to and it's all logged on to the app which you can download for free on iOS or Android. First link in the description, please go and download it, it'll help me and it'll help you if you're a ground hopper like me who goes absolutely everywhere every single day of the week. Also if there's a day you really want to go to a football game but you just have no idea where to go, go onto the nearby fixtures, put 50km, put 150, 300km, you can honestly travel anywhere It'll give you directions, give you the stadium name, bing bang bosh, you'll be at that stadium, log onto the app, and you're gonna have so much fun using this app, just ground hop into places you never think or thought you'd ever go to in your life. So go do yourselves a favour and download the Footballogy app, first link in the description, go download it, and let's get back into the vlog. Make sure you download Footballogy, first link in the description, it'll help me out and help you out too, because I'll be checking in Portsmouth as a new ground today on the app, so you guys can do that too for your new grounds as well. But let's head to Fratton Park, 1 hour 30 on a train down to Portsmouth, We'll enjoy it. Come on, the boys. I wonder what the atmosphere would be like, though. Two really historic clubs and two really consistent teams in League One right now who are on cracking form. Let's go there and find out who'll get a victory today. So I'm in Portsmouth and on the train on the way here, they put out a tweet saying there's a pitch inspection due to all the rainfall which has been happening. And I'll tell you what, the game is still on. Thank God. I'm a Brighton fan, I don't know why I'm in this territory, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, mate. We'll experience it today. It'll be a great, great day. Tom, tell me. Well, what is we this? We can see it for ourselves, mate. It should go down there. That's, no, no. As a football kit collector myself, <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> it's got to be central. Oh, it's it's not down symmetrical down. at all, and I'm not a fan of this, mate. I must, I must admit. You can see what they're thinking, though. You can see where it, like... Uh, I can yeah. see, but it's got to be down the centre. Portsmouth, here we are. Let's check out the stadium, then. <laughs> Not bad, you know. Being at Fratton Park, I've got to have a bit of food. We've gone with a chicken bolty pie today. Should we tuck in and have a, have a little taste? You won't, I will. As far as pies go, yeah. that's up there. And you love the one. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, mate. And you, you what? Come on, mate. Right. You know what? We're, we've had enough of the pie talk now. Yeah. I'm really thankful that you brought me here today, that's mate. Right, mate. Paul's the best ship on Wednesday. What are you thinking? 4-0 No, I don't think 4-0 win, I'll do it! I'm Subscribe! I'm going for a 2-0 win. Alright. Um, I don't think we're going to concede. Who's going? Harness and Curtis. Curtis, Curtis, Curtis. 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 Curtis.
This may be a normal League One fixture today, but it's all about the Tango versus John Westwood fixture today. It's the, it's the derby between the two. The two Walters, one who has the belly off and one who has the big hat, the bell in the stands, who comes out on top today. We'll find out. I might hear the bell from here. Here we go then. Portsmouth versus Sheffield Wednesday. The away fans, fair play to those who have travelled because that's not easy on a Tuesday night. What are you warning me? Oh. What? What's this then? Is it a little jingle? It sounds like something off Strictly. Hello, hello. Oh, Curtis has a shot, but it's just over the bar. That's the first pop opportunity to the game so far. Just over the bar. I tell you, it's a really good, really good uh, moment of play for Portsmouth. Nearly 1 0, not quite. Not bad, that was a full stop, to be fair. Good away end, good home end. That's what we love to see at football. Oh, we're on. Oh, what, what's he done there? Little counter attack here. He's very tall, he's very quick too. Still got it. <laughs> he was through and he missed it. Good save by Peacock in goal on loan from Burnley. Oh, he should be scoring that. He's a striker, he should be scoring, but here comes Sheffield Wednesday with an attack of eight. Oh, great defending. Good defending from this guy, this right back, I must admit. Yet again, just twisted by the now. Mate, whoever this guy is, oh my god. 17, who are you? Whoever you are, you're an absolute baller. That bell ringing in a frat and ends. Can we ring a goal? No, we can't. 33 minutes in the park, not much has happened since the last one I've updated you. Not really much has happened, but the course of atmosphere, home atmosphere, I tell you what, for a nil so far, 33 minutes in, it's not too bad, I would actually really rate it. On the ball, I'm not sure you are, mate, but he shoots, deflected, that's a corner. I'm saying this now, I think they're going to score from this. It's coming. Uh oh. Oh, oh, he should be scoring that. He literally pinpointed every single one in the box. And then it just went wide. It's unfortunate, but he just won't pick up to Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, what a save! Oh, you got to give it to the keeper there. It was destined for the bottom right corner, but you've got to give it to him. The save is the best chance of the game so far. It is, and what a save it was. Unbelievable. It was a good save. That is our time. I've got, I've got to get down a bit here, <laughs> mate. I'm so, sorry <laughs> to insult Yeah, sorry to insult you straight away. Because of this man, it's the reason why I'm here today. Thank you very much for the tickets. He's only here for the 4-0, mate. I'm here for the 4-0 because we're written all over it. 4-0 written all over it. Link in the description. That is his channel. Please subscribe to him. Link in the description. you got to do it. Portsmouth's finest, and I'm sure if you subscribe right now, Portsmouth will win the second half, and my curse will end in the second half. Yes. Please do so. And Tom, yes, mate. what happened in the first half then? Tell me. Um, quite a lot happened in the first half, to be honest, mate. I thought, and you just said it, a really enjoyable first half of football. Yeah. Good job it's on Sky as well. Yeah. I think it's a really good advert for League Everyone's watching the Champions League yeah. at the minute. Yeah, true. It is a really good advert for League One. It is. Um, I'd say we are probably. Their score line at half time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think they've had opportunities to score. Yeah. We, maybe it should be one all at the break, perhaps. Um, I don't know. I would have liked a couple of goals to get yeah. all benefit. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I've got to say, I think, as you said, nil nil, fair result, draw at half time. It's been a very good uh, watch, especially this first half. Second half, hopefully, it continues. I'm going to say a one nil pause at the end. I'm going to agree with you One nil, one nil, one nil, not enough minute limbs. Hello? Oh! oh! It was 
the save. Good save again. But what a strike to call the Portsmouth. This keeper is keeping Sheffield Wednesday on a Tuesday in the game. In my opinion, that's over. I'm sorry. It's got to be off. I'm sorry, I've seen that blatantly clear right in front of me. He's gone over the ball. Stud showing. If that's not a red card, that, that should be red. The referee's given a red card. I knew it. I thought I, was, I thought it was. See you later, pal. I saw it over the ball. It was clear from me being straight in front of it. But that was a straight red card. It was over the ball, reckless challenge, no need for it. And the referee only had one option as to send the player off. And I tell you what, with 22 minutes to go, the fancy pause of nicking this one nil. Cheerio, cheerio, cheerio! That's unreal. Here we go, first time, rocket. Oh, deflected, no! Oh! Opportunities does Portsmouth need with 10 men, even with 11 men? It's uh, just not unbelievable. I just can't believe how Portsmouth have not scored yet. The amount of opportunities accumulated up now, it should at least be 1 0. Hello! Oh. Wait, what? Oh my god, so the ball went past the keeper, the keeper missed it. And I feel like the player thought he got contacted by the keeper and he went down. Whereas if he stayed on his feet, he could have just tapped the ball into the net and it could be 1 0. But no, of course not. Probably because I'm here. 16,000 fans here on a Tuesday night. 1,500 Sheffield Wednesday fans on a Tuesday night. For Sheffield Wednesday, it's very, very decent. Imagine if I'm still having a 0 0 night. Imagine that. How depressing would that be? Minute limbs, 90th minute. Oh, a ball! I'm claiming anything. Corner! Sheffield Wednesday are as expected this time wasting, so you all cause get a one opportunity to kill the game or to get that victory. I don't I don't think so. Come on. No. I genuinely thought that was rifling straight into the top left hand corner and the fact did, oh my god, that would be one of the best guys I've seen live in person. And now my friends, that ends nil-nil. Mate, that's another nil-nil I've seen, another nil-nil. <laughs> I'm sorry. We said before the game that you were going to curse us and you have done. I think but I have. We it was a good game. game. It was a good game for neutral and for nil nil. But I'll tell you what, the last five games I think I've seen four nil nil. Yet again, we've watched another nil nil. I don't really know what to say at this point, but I'm kind of used to it, if I'm honest. The emotions run the same, it's frustration, it's more like. Yep, yeah, that result again. Classic nil-nil, and even Smith is taking the piss out of it. That's how bad it's getting. Nevertheless, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Next time, the nil-nil will be at Sunderland, as I'm going to be going to Sunderland versus Plymouth on Saturday. So make sure you look forward to that vlog on Saturday night, where we'll be going to Sunderland Plymouth in the away end. So it's either going to be a Sunderland win, or it's going to be a bore... <sighs> Boring, boring nil-nil. Please follow my social medias, they'll be on the screen right now. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Download Footballogy, link in the description, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye, guys.